I would like to pick up on one thing which your name is always associated with, which is the Quixel algorithm and its connection to programming languages. So um, could you build the connection for us with your ability to write the program Quixel down when you first had the idea? Uh, not when I first had the idea. Um, the idea first came to me when I got interested in sorting. I remember well um, thinking about it on my couch in my room in, at Moscow State University. Um, and um, uh, the first idea I had for doing sorting was something like bubble sort. Um, and then I thought it was a bit slow. I could calculate the it would be um, n squared in the length of the array. So there must be a faster way. And I did think explicitly, well, if I could start off by assuming that um, my array was split into two uh, parts and all the elements of one part were smaller than all the elements of the other part, then, then it, I could s tackle those two problems separately. And I sat down and used the only programming language I knew at the time, which was Mercury Autocode, and wrote the partition algorithm, the easy non-recursive part. And then I was faced with the problem of how does one organize the um, calculations required to um, uh, sort all the, all the um, partitions that you've left behind um, to sort later. And I couldn't figure that one out, but I thought there must be some way of doing it. Um, a, a year or two later, when I was working for Elliot's, um, I came across the Algol 60 report and I read it. That was worth reading. I, I know it's very, people who, who have read it agree with me that it was, you learn something about programming by reading that report. And it had that wonderful sentence in it about recursion. Any other uh, occurrence of the function designator inside the function body denotes a call of the function itself. Recursion. Ah, that's the way I should, should have described it. And that led to publication in the uh, communications of the ACM of the algorithm in their algorithm section. Right. You, you describe sitting on the couch, we'll come to back to Moscow in a while, but you describe sitting on the couch, did you have pencil and paper? How were you thinking about sorting? Um, I, was, I had pencil and paper, yes, to write the, write the program. Um, but that was after I got the idea, of course. And I don't think I ever bothered to even write out the bubble sort algorithm. Right. Uh, is it true you had a financial wager about this algorithm? <laughs> when I uh, uh, came back to England, I was offered employment by um, a small British computer manufacturer, Elliott Brothers. Um, and one of the uh, first things that um, the, my, my boss gave me to do was to write a sorting algorithm. Um, and he showed me the algorithm that he wanted written. It was the now called shell sort, um, and it was quite complicated and very difficult to see how fast it was going to be. Um, but when I'd written written it out and delivered it back to my boss, um, I said, "I think I know a faster way of doing that." And he said, "I bet you sixpence you don't." <laughs> and um, then I explained it to him, and he implemented it for um, one of the Elliott machines and found indeed it was uh, considerably faster even than his previous algorithm which had been a merge sort. For our audience, sixpence is uh, how much money? <laughs> well, um, about a half halfpenny in present money. <laughs> a very small wager.